You're going to learn today. Hi, it's Jeremy Scott Barber. Welcome to this episode of Cultivating Life. Today was an eventful day. Today was a pretty good day overall. This morning I started out and went to jujitsu training. Um, was at the dojo at seven o'clock and trained until 8.30 and then left there, um, went and took care of a, a couple of small repairs in a house in a neighborhood uh, project we did uh, probably about a month, month and a half ago. And somebody had come through and caused some damage, went, took care of it, not a big deal. Left from there, came home, grabbed the family, and then we went down to my uncle's horse farm in Clayton, where I, you guys have seen uh, probably the video on our channel here, uh, where we redid some fence a while back. Anyway, went down there, um, and the reason for going today was my son Alexander got his first, uh, you know, official horseback riding lesson. He rode uh, a couple of times when he was real young with, uh, I don't remember if it was one of his sisters he rode with or if it was with my uncle, um, but they were in the saddle with him. So today was his first opportunity to get on the horse now that he's older, now that he's bigger, and, uh, so I've got some video footage of that. I will insert, boom, for you guys to uh, enjoy. And it was a good time. We were there, I don't know, about five hours almost, and just had fun. Uh, we weren't, he wasn't riding the full five hours. Um, my uncle is a big proponent of, uh, you know, teaching some of the other skills of taking care of horses besides just the fun of riding. So Alexander got to brush uh, the horse that he was going to ride, brush the horse down. Um, he cleaned his feet, making sure there were no rocks or anything there uh, where the toenail meets the frog of the foot so that once the weight of uh, the saddle and Alexander were on there, it wouldn't cause the horse any pain. And this is a super chill horse. This is the horse that now, out of all the horses my uncle has, it's the one he's had the longest. I believe he got Mac Daddy back in 2002. Mac is 21 years old this year, I think, so he's an old horse, but he's always been great around kids. And so when my girls uh, did their first couple of rides, it was on Mac Daddy, and now Alexander got to ride Mac Daddy around a little bit. Of course, Mac Daddy's older. He has some breathing problems. And they said his breathing was a little worse today than it has been in the past couple of days. It could be the change in weather. Um, you know, past few days, the highs have been in the 70s. And even yesterday was like 81. And then today, the high was like 55. It was crazy. Uh, which I love the cooler weather. But obviously, drastic changes like that are uh, make it a little tough on anyone who has any kind of you know, physical ailments that uh, you know, weather changes affect. But, like, you know, it was just a good day. And he was listening really well. Um, he did have to be, be told things a couple of times, certain things. Um, but he was paying attention. He was picking it up. And for it being his first time, I think he did great. My uncle thinks he did great. Um, and, and it was just, it was fun. And then uh, this evening, my wife and I had a chance to go out with her sister and her husband. So my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And we ate dinner, hung out. That was great. But I share this with you because, you know, this was just one more example of creating opportunities in life for learning new skills, new things. So, you know, Alexander is very interested. Uh, I've shared with you guys, he, he took swim lessons for a little over a year. And went from, like, he had been terrified of the water, but he had kind of started to be open to the idea of getting in the water. And so we took advantage of that, got him in swim lessons. He went from knowing nothing to, like, almost a fish in water in that year span. So huge shout-out to uh, Clubworks Swim Program. They did an amazing job working with him and teaching him, coaching him through 
all of those various levels of swim lessons. And he's interested in a couple other new skills. You guys know he takes martial arts, so like he's constantly learning new skills there. Obviously, he is homeschooled as well, so he's learning every day. But today was just a very different form of learning for him, and it was something that he's been pretty interested in getting started on, which is horseback riding. And, you know, we had to create that opportunity, though. It doesn't just happen. It doesn't just, you know, by default of no planning and careless living do opportunities like that happen. You have to create opportunities for learning. And that's the lesson I want to share with you guys today. You must create opportunities for learning. You must create opportunities for learning. Why? So that you can continue to expand as a human being. So that you can continue to become better. Better skilled. Bigger mindsets. Better mindsets. Better belief systems. You've got to create these opportunities to learn. Otherwise, if you do not learn anything new, you will not do anything new. If you do not do anything new, you will not get any new results. So, you have to be intentional. You could, for example, with your body, create some opportunities to learn some new skills with your body, much like I and Alexander are doing with martial arts, much like we did for Alexander with swim lessons, much like horseback riding lessons. Like There are things you can do with your body to learn new skills and you have to create those opportunities. It could be about nutrition. Maybe, maybe you're a horrible cook and you need to learn how to cook. So you go and you create the opportunity to learn by signing up for a cooking class and increase your skill set. Get better. Become better. Um, maybe it's a sport that you've always been interested in but you've never tried and you never really had an opportunity to learn when you were younger or up until this point in your life. Well, you're still not gonna learn it if you don't create the opportunity for learning. You have to go and put some effort into it, okay? Make it happen. Don't sit around and hope it'll fall in your lap one day. Don't sit around and hope somebody else will plan it out for you. Take some initiative, take some action, and cultivate those opportunities for learning. Make it available for you. Make it available for your family. Um, you know, uh, create opportunities for learning as a couple, as a husband and wife. And it doesn't necessarily have to be learning about marriage, but learn something together. Do something together that expands your skill sets or expands your mindset. Um, you know, I shared not too long ago that my wife and I have done a couple now, uh, of the painting sessions where you go to a, a place or in one instance they came to a location closer because we had put together a group and they have the uh, painting outline basically drawn on the canvas for you they walk you through the uh, basic steps of painting and you paint together that's just another you know fun learning experience and so like you could do that you and your wife could take a cooking class together you could take a sports class together. Like, you can learn something together as a couple. Maybe you want to learn how to dance. Like, you know, the ballroom style dances. You want to be all fancy pants and learn how to waltz. And, and uh, I don't know the names of them. So, Foxtrot, uh, whatever. Like, look it up. I'm not an answer. So I probably, you know, if, if my wife and I wanted to be dancers, we would have to take some classes because I know nothing about dancing. So, um, but maybe that's something you and your wife would be interested in learning. But you have to create opportunities for it. Like, you're not going to get better. Maybe you do need to sign up for a workshop, maybe about how to better handle your finances. Maybe you need to sign up for a workshop about, or a class or a seminar about, you know, um, parenting. I don't know. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know what skill set you're needing to, you know, develop or improve. But you know, those opportunities aren't just going to come one day and slap you upside the head and, you know, you're going to have the skill. It's not going to happen. You have to create the opportunities for learning. Um, in business, same thing. You have to create the opportunities to learn. 
so that you can be a better person in business, a better entrepreneur if you own your own business, or a better employee, a better manager, a better leader inside of the organization that you are working for. Create opportunities for learning. A great way if you're inside an organization to create opportunities for you to learn and for you to become better is to volunteer for higher level responsibilities, to take on projects that are right now outside of your scope outside of your comfort zone and you put yourself in a position to have to perform and then you force yourself to learn the skills necessary to make it happen. You force yourself to build the relationships necessary to make it happen. And so you've created an opportunity for learning. And obviously, all of this learning is adding value to you as a human being so that you are able to fulfill the mission, the purpose that you were born to do. So, get out your journal, get out your pen, and ask yourself this question. What opportunities have I created for myself recently so that I can learn, I can get better, I can learn something new, or I can improve and expand my current knowledge of whatever it is? Like, is it in your body? Have you taken some kind of class recently? Have you been to... Uh, some kind of training or, or you know, like a cooking class, uh, a sports training, uh, a weightlifting training, um, maybe very specific, like, you know, uh, maybe you wanted to learn how to work out with kettlebells, so you took a kettlebell specific training. Like, what have you done recently to create an opportunity for yourself to learn in regards to your body? What have you done recently to create an opportunity to learn something with your spouse with your kids like it that's applicable to every relationship what opportunities have you created for your kids to learn something new what opportunities have you created for your spouse to learn something new maybe it's not something y'all have done together maybe it's something that you just you know created the opportunity for your spouse to go you knew it was something they were interested in and so you created an opportunity for them to go learn something that they were passionately interested in. Awesome. Write that down. Where have you created opportunities for yourself recently to learn in business, in your career, in your employment, in your job, in your field of expertise? What have you done? And if you don't have anything for any of those, how about you do a little bit of research today and create a list of opportunities for each of those that you're actually interested in and then start you know prioritizing which one you want to do first second third and get yourself a list going of some possible opportunities for you to learn to expand to have fun to add some adventure to your life and to continue the, this process of becoming better day by day so that you can cultivate the life you want for yourself and for your family that's all I've got for you today here at cultivating life Thank you for joining me for this video. Thank you for everything you do to support us and help share our content. I love you, and I'll see you next time.